Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Video. In this session we'll discuss about valuation of goodwill with the help of capitalization method. Now we can use capitalization method in two ways. We can capitalize average profit or we can capitalize super profit. Now first of all we'll use the capitalization of average profit method and we'll understand it with the help of a problem. here we, you can see there is a question saying a firm earns rupees 60,000 as its annual rate or annual profits the rate of normal profit being 10% the assets of the firm amount to rupees 7,20,000 and liability to rupees two lakh forty thousand we have to value the goodwill now what we need to do at very first is to calculate the total capitalized value value of the firm now we'll do it with the help of a formula Now here we have average profit to be 60,000 in this question as we have seen average profit is rupees 60,000 and normal rate of return is 10% so we divide 60,000 by Point one, and the amount which it comes to be is six lakhs. Now you need to calculate the net assets of the firm. We all know net asset is total asset minus total liability the value for the total asset was seven lakh twenty thousand and liability is two lakh forty thousand so you put seven lakh twenty thousand here and you deduct two lakhs forty thousand from it now the amount is four lakh eighty thousand
so the goodwill the goodwill amount would be the excess of total capitalized value of the firm over net asset of the firm so you must have mentally accounted what would be the value here and this would amount to one lakh and twenty thousand rupees so this is how we value goodwill using capitalization of average profit now we'll use a different question to understand goodwill valuation by super profit method capitalization of super profit so here are uh, here is our question so the average profit for the firm is 150000 total tangible asset is given liabilities are given so normal rate of return is given and uh, we have to calculate goodwill so the first of all we have to calculate the capital employed because it is not given here So, according to this question, we have to calculate the capital employed first. Because it's not been given here. So, that would be total tangible assets. assets and uh, we deduct outside liability total tangible asset was 14 lakhs I guess yeah 14 lakhs and uh, total outside liabilities were 4 lakhs so it would amount to 10 lakhs now we calculate the normal profit normal profit is 10 percent so 10 percent of 10 lakhs 10 percent of capital employer as it was given in the question 10 percent was mentioned in the question like you can see it here normal rate of return so we have used this 10 percent 10 percent of 10 lakhs 
that amounts to 1 lakh 1 lakh rupees now we calculate the super profit super profit is profit over normal profit so we deduct normal profit from average profit so it was given 1.5 lakhs and this was 1 lakh so it amounts to 0.5 lakh rupees or you can say this is 50,000 so now we calculate the goodwill so the goodwill amount would be super profit divided by normal rate of return you can remember that uh, in average profit method we have used average profit divided by normal rate of return to calculate the capitalized value of the firm total capitalized value here we directly calculate the goodwill with the use of super profit in the same formula where we have used average profit so we have replaced the average profit with the super profit and rest of the formula remains the same so here we put 50,000 bucks divided by 0.1 so leads to 5 lakhs this is our value of goodwill and this is how we calculate super profit and uh, we calculate goodwill with the help of super profit by capitalizing super profit this is all we have for this video thank you for watching this video